All right, Chikami, everybody. This is Miyaku. I'm back for part 17 of Animal Crossing New Horizons Let's Play. I just barely cut off episode, I think, 16, right? This is 17. And I'm back for a little bit more. I just wanted to finish up a few tasks tonight, but I'm trying to keep the episodes in more bite-sized chunks. Um, probably won't do a specific... Dermatology talk. I already did one today. If you want to see that subject, it's seborrheic dermatitis. That was in part 16. I'm still, like I said in the last one, I am getting a new microphone tomorrow, so hopefully my audio quality will go through the roof. Again, I gotta figure out how to use it, and we'll see. Um, I have to get a USB splitter, because I am doing this actually from my laptop. It's not the most powerful thing, but it's been working okay. And I think to really, really up my game, I'd have to do a whole new PC rig, which is a little more money than I want to sink into this right now. And I don't need a computer, so it's hard to justify that cost. The filthy fraud uses silk and leaves to spin a cozy bag for it to hide inside, hence the name. Some find it cute the way bagworms dangle from trees, but the truth is they're gluttonous monsters. These beasts love to stuff their bug gullets full of leaves, devouring the very trees they hang upon. Wretched villains is what they are. <laughs> Blathers, I love you. Anywho, my sincerest thanks for your donation. And though bugs are the bane of my existence, the wretched thing will get the best of care here. You're a scholar and a gentleman, even though you hate the bugs. Oh, wait. I want you to assess... Assess... This fossil and this one. There you go. More than one, I see. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Hoo woo hoo! These are rare fossils. That means he doesn't have them. I say, you have quite the knack for finding fossils. Now I do hope you'll consider donating what you found. Of course I will, Blathers. I want to help you realize your dream. Helping other people realize their dreams can only help you realize your dreams. Rising tides raise all ships, right? That's how the saying goes. In the meantime, I shall return these to you, but think on what I've said, the museum awaits. Speaking of that, um, Andre from Game Explain just did a video for their 1 billion views. That's outrageous, but it's so cool that they did that. It's, it's awesome that they built that up and it's working out for them. Um, so it's, it's pretty amazing, isn't it? That you can make things like that happen if you really put your mind and heart behind it. They deserve it. So congratulations, Game Explain, for your for your awesome achievement. I don't think I'll ever get there, but I'm having fun doing this anyways. Woohoo, several things I see. Well, that's it, I think. And let's see. I want to wrap this mirror. That's for Tammy. And I want to wrap this protein. That is for Sly. Oh, my brother's on. Super goo. Can I use the party popper in here? I cannot. I was going to scare Blathers. <laughs> what happens if you use the party popper behind a villager, by the way? Does it scare him? Where's Sly? Should I test it on the Nook Boys? I'm going to test it on them. I can't use my tools in here. Guess I won't scare the Nook Boys. I need to go get clay. That's what I'm on my way to do, actually. I need clay. Let's find some rocks. I will not be deterred from my mission except by these flowers. Which I must suddenly water. <laughs> I have the urge to water these. And maybe by this thing. There was a thing to dig. What is it? Oh, I missed. The scenery here is so beautiful. I know it's silly to say that about a game, but it really is. Look at it. It just looks really nice. And the moon goes through different phases. I'm pretty sure that the stars... Oops. I'm pretty sure the stars change, too and we'll have different constellations. Maybe those clams are worth something. Oh, one of my goals is to sell fruits, so I'll pick up these fruits while I'm out and about. 
Now, if I remember right, there are no rocks in this part of the island. But there are a few little apples that I need to pick up here. I was going to make a, a piano as well to sell the piano. Oh, and I have been having so much luck shaking trees, getting furniture. Maybe I should shake all the trees. Oh, there's some money. My coconut farm is doing really well there. That beach is on its way to being an awesome place to go. Wasps! Oh, phew. Take that wasp. They used to be the bane of my existence, but now I know how to handle them. I got my wasp handler's license. It's not a thing, but if it was a thing... Wow! I do have good luck. I just shook three monies out of those trees. Four! Four in a row! Wow, that's really good luck! Must be all that feng shui in my house, right? Or maybe it's because I played lucky songs on my ocarina. Remember this? Here we go. <laughs> I still want to know what that's for. Does anybody know what the ocarina is for? I, I need to Google this. I just have a feeling that it's for something. Something majestic. Wow, more money! How much money is in these trees? Oops. No more furniture tonight, huh? I was on such a hot streak with the furniture from the trees business. I'm doing my best to ignore the fishes tonight, guys. I know that I normally get really distracted by fish, but I'm on a mission. Oh, there's some furniture! I got some more. What is it? Oh, my pockets are full! What is it? Oh, let's drop these rocks. An exercise ball? How oh, cool! That goes to Sly, too. He will love it. You can get swole on that exercise ball, Sly. I can just tell. I should get my brother to visit my town, or I should visit his town. Pretty sure he doesn't know that I'm that I'm recording this and putting on YouTube, so before I did that I'd definitely need to get his permission. I don't know that he would want to be... Well, I wouldn't have to record his voice, I guess. Yeah, I definitely gotta swap and keep that fossil. We can drop some weeds, some apples. I got lots of apples, let's drop some of these. I need to go back to my house. <laughs> I just wanted to fill in my hole. No, 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 Apple. What are you doing? I guess you can't fill in a hole if you're standing on an apple with the Y button. No more rocks. Man. So much for my building my bridge. I guess I need to go to a hidden island. I gotta buy a Nook ticket. That's what I gotta do. No more rocks. Oh, there, oh, there's a rock! Yes. Come on, Clay. I just need one more, I'm pretty sure. Come on, Clay. Yes, I got what I needed. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need right now. Here we come, bridge. Oh, I don't need the rock. I'll drop that. I never learn, do I? And let's do just a little more chopping. I don't have... I don't have tons of wood in my pockets. <laughs> it's hard for me to remember 
where I buried the tools and which ones are actual digging things. I'm pretty sure all those little digging spots that I just passed are tools, by the way, because my little boy and I have been burying tools for each other. I don't know why, just it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> That should be enough. Okay. Now let's do... Let's go to my house. Deposit some stuff. And do some crafting. Oh wait, I had something that seemed like it would be cool to put outside. A cone. A traffic cone. I'll put it right- this looks like a perfect place for a bridge. I'll place the traffic cone right here to warn people that it's under construction. Okay. Log stakes, log stakes, exercise ball. Okay, I was gonna go in here and deposit some things. I'll put the exercise ball down actually right now just to look at it. Can I sit on it? I can bounce it. I can bounce it really fast, all right. So I don't have there's no blue wall. I need orange wall, right? And I actually don't really want to deposit any of this stuff. I want to sell. Oh wait, there we go. This I No, I think I probably need those in my pocket. I was going to get something out of my storage. That's what it was. I was going to get a can, a couple of cans. I was going to build some stuff out of cans. Did I put weeds? Oh, there's clay. I have so much clay in here. I'm so silly. My room's getting crowded. I got to skip around places, apparently. Okay, okay. I'm going to go to the Nook Boys and sell few things real quick and then craft because my pockets are kind of full. So I'll sell these things. Sell these apples. I need the weeds. Not the steaks I need. Sell that wasp and that thing. Wow, that's a lot of money. I need to deposit some bells. I need to deposit 800 bells into my savings account. But first, craft. And then mail. I gotta mail some stuff too. All right, let's build. I need to craft a log stake. Alright, I got some log stakes. Let's keep crafting. I should be able to build the bridge kit now. Yep, there we go. Bridge kit. Can I only build that once? Can I build that and build tons of bridges? Oh, it's gone. You can only do it once. What do I need for that? I need a wooden block toy. Why does it say mini? A mini di- oh, because it's only one, one square by one square. Okay. Is it bigger than this thing? This one? That's 1.5 by 1.5? It is smaller, okay. Well, this would actually be nice to have in my house, because that's where I store all my stuff. Right? Yeah, I'm going to build that. 
and put it in my house. Because I, I go deposit lots of stuff in my storage and then I don't have it in my pockets. So that's a good idea. Here we go. Empty can. A recycled thumb can piano. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to see what it does. Alright, thumb can piano. Oh, it's teeny. Does it play music? It does! It plays beautiful music. Like Zora's Domain. I feel like I'm in Zora's Domain right now. I kind of don't want to sell that. I need to put musical instruments all in a row in a table here, and I can have a band when I have people come over. An ocarina, a thumb piano. Do you think it'll wake up the wind fish if you do all these things and play them all together? That's what I want to make. I need more weeds. I want to hang that on my wall. Oh. I almost forgot. <laughs> they actually wanted to buy this, so I want to see what it is like. Because they said it's a special. What do they mean by that? There was something else. All right. With our new shop come three new services. Let's talk about turnips. The turnip market is about to take off here on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller soon. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. The price is set in the morning and afternoon, so be sure to stop by. One note, we don't accept turnips on Sundays. That's the day the turnip seller visits the island. The second new service involves a hot item. It will change every day. If you bring one to sell, we'll give you double its normal price. Drop-off box. You can find it. Say you're in a hurry and the shop is closed. You can just drop off any items you want to sell. Easy, right? We'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account. And I should mention a few things. There is a handling fee, and we don't accept turnips, and hot items will sell for just their regular price. Hey. So I have to come into the shop for that. What's the handling fee? How much money are you going to take from that? You little sneaky guys. What's hot today? I have one of those. How much does it cost? How much does it sell for? I want to see how much this is worth. Where'd it go? There we go. You want the thumb can piano? 1780 bells? I guess that's pretty good. Do I want to sell it though? I like it. If I sold a bunch of them, eh, I'll sell it, sure. Maybe there's a Nook Miles thing for selling a hot item. There was not. Oh, I thought for sure there would be. There's no weeds here, so I can't craft my little succulent plant that I wanted to. I've got to go mail these little items, and then go plant my bridge. Yep, I'm ready to send a couple of letters. A resident here. I don't think I got anything for sending anything to myself. Alright, Tammy. What's what's speaking to me today? This one? That one is. Let's... Dear Tammy. Oops. Let's... Um... Let's eat some pizza. Yeah. Oh wait, no, let's not eat some pizza. Let's eat some sticky, what was that called? Sticky English pudding? Yeah, some sticky English pudding. I wonder if there's cooking in this game. It seems like the kind of thing that would be in here. 
Like you could cook the apples into apple pie, more energy, or give them to people. Let's eat some sticky English pudding. Uh oh. Which one was which? Let's see. I think this was the mirror. I hope I didn't mess that up. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, sending sending cards takes a little bit too long just because of all the text you have to go through. I wish it was a little more streamlined. And then Sly, he needs his protein powder so that he can get swole or get ripped. He was really hinting something at me, and he likes this. Protein! Actually, it's not protein. For Sly, it's protein. Protein powder. What if it's the mirror though? I don't remember. Protein powder. All right, good job, Jimmy. Jimmy's sending you some protein powder, Sly. Hope you enjoy it. it. Cost me a pretty penny. I hope you like it. And that's that. Oh man, my neck cracks showed up on the stream. Sorry about that, that probably sounds gross. I hope he gets his mail soon, I think he'll be excited. This looks like a good spot for a bridge, if I've ever seen one. Perfect. We should. Let's imagine it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, that looks good. Let the land connect. What's up, Jimmy? Oh, hey, Tammy. How are you doing? Giving me some flowers? I was wondering, anyone tell you about reactions yet? No. When you feel full of joy, oh, that's what that is, that's joy. And your body just starts moving on its own like I'm doing now? Words ain't up, always up to snuff when it comes to expressing yourself. Sometimes only reactions will do. At times like that, you want to press ZR and let everyone know how you feel. Easy, right? I'm going to tell the others to teach you any sweet reactions they know, so don't forget to hit them up. Oh, I'm so excited. I learned how to show joy finally. Now I'm no longer an empty skeleton of an emotionless void. Here we go. Now everybody will know that it's dangerous to go right here. Okay, Tammy, I want to show you something. Joy! Do I have more emotions? Oh, greetings. Delight? I can clap? And surprise? Oh, <laughs> I love this one. Look at my eyes. Okay, I need some weeds real quick. Because I want to craft a succulent plant and put it in my house. Oh, it's Wisp again. Should I scare him? Should I scare him into bits? Okay, here we go. Come here, Wisp. <laughs> it did scare him. Perfect. That actually makes more sense that way. <laughs> what do you want from me, ghost? Oh, Jimmy, please don't startle me like that. My heart nearly stopped, and there goes my spirit again. I feel kind of guilty. I keep scaring him into bits so that I can get free stuff from him. Yeah, yeah, I'll collect all your spirits. Yeah, I know there's a nice reward in it for me. That's not why I'm doing it, Wisp. I just do it because I feel bad that I scared you to death. I like it how he's, he stops on a dime and skids. Now where could these wisp bits be? There's one. That's record time. I wonder if my reward gets better for doing it faster. It should. It shows wisp how much I value his friendship to gather his bits really fast. That's 
three. I only need one, two more. That's a real wisp. I won't do it this time, wisp. I hit him with it yesterday and he's like, you can't collect me. Wait a minute. Oh, it's just a tiger beetle. Hey, Tammy. You're looking at me, huh? Oh, she walked away. That's cold. That's cold, Tammy. I was just trying to give you some greetings. Oops. It's kind of hard to tell where those are at. One more wisp. Hanging up the t-shirts and shoes on my wall kind of makes my house look like a little shoe store. Or a little clothing store. Eventually, I think I'll only keep the ones that I really like out displayed. Is the last wisp piece up here? It's funny, I thought that I was going to run out of stuff of run out of things to do in this game really quickly, but you don't seem to. They've they've paced it so well that it just eats up the time. You're playing and playing and then you're like, oh man, it's an hour later already. So last time I asked about people's hobbies and what they like to do, Cat Bear responded and talked about baking and playing video games, which I like both of those. I think they're both good hobbies. They actually are two of mine. And it got me thinking because as I was cooking my dinner tonight, my dinner to eat all alone because my family's out of town. I feel so sad without my boys here. Um, I was watching a show called The Dragon Prince on Netflix. I started watching it years ago and the, the, ne the last season just came out and it's actually really cool. I wasn't sure about it when I first started it, but I really like it. The animation style is really appealing to me, like the way they've actually animated and colored the art design, I guess, the character design. I think it looks really clean and slick. It reminds me a lot of Fire Emblem, actually. Fire Emblem Awakening, when they had their cutscenes, and I loved it. I loved that look. The later Fire Emblems didn't have quite the same look in their cutscenes, but I thought Awakenings were so good. Um, I don't think even Birthright and Conquest looked quite the same. They were still different. I think... I want something expensive. I like expensive things, Wisp. But yeah, the, the animation style is really cool. And the story itself is cool. It's kind of like a mix between um, um, Lord of the Rings and the Chronicles of Narnia and sort of Fire Emblem. For some reason, it reminds me a lot of Fire Emblem, but probably the most of Lord of the Rings. I think it's, I think it's heavily based on that, at least in inspiration. I don't know if you've seen it, but it's... It's a story about these two kids, and their dad is the king, and they end up through a series of little misadventures, going on an adventure with a little dragon. And it's, it's really cool. Is that what he just gave me? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, my sofa! I forgot about that! I'm so scatterbrained. Well, it's coming up on 30 minutes, so I think once I'm in my house here, this will probably be the end of the stream. Let's check out this sofa. How big is it? Oh, it's like a bed. That's no sofa, that's a bed. <laughs> Normally you don't sit on a... Okay, I gotta move. I gotta move this. Because it's yellow. Sorry, fish, you gotta move. I gotta put my sofa right here. It looks like a banana. I can't spin it? There we go. There we go. And I'll put my fish right here again. Where'd my fish go? There he is, my red snapper. And 
put my switch on it. That way I can sit on my sofa and play my switch and, and have my fish keep me company. An exercise ball, a DIY workbench, and a writing poster. Where should my writing poster be? Oh, I forgot about that goofy hat that I have. Oh, it's a periodic table of the elements. Why did it say writing poster? I'm kind of confused. Um, this armoire actually is kind of nice. Because I can get all my clothes out of it. Oh, it's a wardrobe, not an armoire. Let's get some comfy pants on. Some nice shoes. There we go. I think that's good. That's good for now. I got my bunny shirt hung up there. The bunny shirt looks like it should actually go on this wall. Because it's green. can go up there. I got my green shoes. I actually meant to just change my slippers. There we go. I got my nice slippers on and my awesome socks. And my garden gnome. Oh wait, my garden gnome has a yellow head. I should probably put him right here. For extra luck. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm pretending. That counts for something, right? And I want to... Sorry guys, you're not really in a lucky spot, so let's put my workbench right there. And my phone is displayed right through the workbench. That's okay. That's okay. I got my cardboard baskets. Finally got my succulent plant. What else was I gonna make? A wooden block toy. So that I can make a new stereo. It's kind of funny that my phone is integrated into my workbench. There we go. A new stereo. That's going to be cool. Oh, there's Bradwich, my best friend from medical school, playing Hyrule Warriors. That's a fun game. There's my radio. Wait, not the portable one. Where's my wooden radio? There we go. No room. Is this a huge stereo or something? Oh, it's huge. I don't have any songs I can register. Are those things on the wall songs? Let's try that. I swear they're songs, right? I do have songs. Okay, they are songs. <laughs> oh no, my bathtub. Hold on, I gotta get this song off the wall. Oh, this song is amazing! Listen to this. I don't know that I'm ever gonna change it. <laughs> oh, it's good. Listen to that yodeling. That's world-class yodeling, KK. Keep it up. I'll move the phone. I'll put the phone right over my bed. How about that? Yeah, 
there we go. I'll move this stereo right there. What an awesome stereo. Can I put something on it? Can I put my shoes on it? Nope, I can't. Let's register another song. Comrade KK. Oh, they're gone! I liked the pictures of them on the wall. Oh, man. I didn't know that would get rid of them. That's a sad day for me. They were like my favorite decoration. There we go. I can listen to Comrade KK over here. Can I just turn into... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's how. Okay. So I can take it away. Okay. You're a pretty cool stereo, but I really like my pictures on the wall. I think I might go back to my cardboard box. Where's Comrade KK? Oh, there it is. Oh, phone. Are you really in the way, phone? The phone is in the way, isn't it? Okay, let's just do this, because I think I can rearrange it. I'm pretty sure that I can rearrange by pushing down. There we go, there we go. Let's put the phone right over my bed. Put these down eye level. That's, well, a little more. There we go. Let's move the shoes. This is funny, you can put things so... I'll move the shoes over here. I like the shoes. I need, I need them to be visible. I'll hang my, sh my cool shirts up right there. Put this hat. Right there. Nah, it's okay right there. Right there where you can reach it. And this will go way up there because I don't really like it, but I think I'm suspicious that it's good luck. I can study the periodic table while I am in my bath. There we go. Oh no, not that. Oh, nuts. Where'd it go? I lost my rug. Okay. <laughs> Even rearranging my house. Did I just block myself off from my workbench? Nope, I didn't. Okay. A toolbox. I need a toolbox by my workbench. I think that this is still a green square right there. There we go. Got my tools open. Got my cardboard box back out. I'll put 
my portable radio back out. Because it, it's got good music on it. And a succulent plant onto the wall. Oh, it can only be placed. I guess I'll just put it right there, because it's green. I need a shelf. And I'll put an apple back down. I'm suspicious that the apple is good luck. It may or may not be. Oh, and my gift from Tammy. My glasses. I want to put them on the wall. Oh, you can't. You got to put them on the wall first and then you go into this mode. Interesting. Let's put them on the wall next to my bathtub. There we go. There we go. That's my chill corner. <laughs> My rain boots, I think I'll put those into storage. I think I put the ocarina into storage. I've played a lot of songs of my people. The brine shrimp, I think I'll put that into storage too. The wooden block stereo, and for now. The exercise ball too. Okay, well I think that's probably good for today, except for I need to get some of these things out. And, oh that's a cool campfire. I guess I'm already mostly done with blathers. Okay, I thought I had more to do. I'm gonna craft some of these things that I learned how to make. Like this thing, the tire toy. I fished all these tires up. I'm just cutting them in half and calling it a toy. In case you didn't notice that. Some recycled boots. Okay, good. And can I make more succulents? I cannot. But I can make this that I'm going to send to Spy. I'll keep that in my pocket so I can mail it tomorrow. And I kind of want to see if I can actually put umbrellas in there. I didn't mean to keep crafting, but now I want to. A bookshelf. I wonder if the bookshelf is useful. I like those walls. Let's see about this umbrella stand. Does it actually do anything? Where'd it go? There we go. Oh, it's just it's just filled with fake umbrellas. That's no good. That's no good for me. I want to take those out though. Put the garden gnome the plastic canister down. Put the garden gnome into this corner. Well, that's interesting. I jumped into there. Okay, we'll put him there. Get my umbrellas into an easy access position in case it rains on me. And then one over here. 
There we go. And I was going to go to Blathers. But I can do that on the next one, because it's already been a long time. It's getting late. It's not super late, but I... I got some real life stuff to do, so I should be a little bit responsible. Again, thanks for watching. Um, new subscribers again from last time, Cassie Martins, Chaos Canone. They gave some good feedback. I love it when you guys give me some feedback about things that I can do to improve this. Um, together we can make this a good place. A good, We can do this a lot. We can make it a lot better than I can do on my own, so um, give me some ideas. If you like the channel, you want to see it grow, subscribe, comment, like. I think all those things help. And if you have questions, always post them. Tell me what you're interested in watching. That's what I've been, I've been. I told you I was watching that Dragon Prince lately. So if you got something that you're really into, give me some ideas. I have a lot of me time currently, so I will plan on doing this again tomorrow, probably after work, uh, maybe in the morning because I don't have to go in until late. So. Don't forget to slip, slap, and slop to prevent yourself from getting too much sun out there. And until next time, Miru Pafshim.